Hello guys, I am back with another video. Uh, this is actually a challenge video. Uh, Satsi Wolf put out on the LOTR LCG Discord. He himself played one of the challenges posed by Draxor there, which was to defeat King of Carrion without using any fate events. And he did that, of course, on, on adventure difficulty or higher. He did that, and at the end of his run, he proposed another challenge, which is to defeat the scenario with... or let's say that without any tactics heroes and without using Aragorn. So this uh, actually does limit the the availability of heroes a bit. So we can't take uh, we can't take Aragorn, we can't take Gimli, we can't take Legolas. So to actually have access to any other uh, or any stat boosting attack or defense boosting stuff, I chose Dwalin. He doesn't do anything special by himself, he just gives access to the leadership cards, which in this case will be Gondorian Shield, which gives block and two health. That's very good to save allies from the from the threat event where they are destroyed when they are wounded. So you can play this to avoid this. Ranger's Blade, Raven -wing Winged Helmet, both are good to make your attack better and your defense better. We also have Urkenbrand, uh, coupled with self-preservation is very good. We also have Tom Bombadil and I think uh, we have uh, Gandalf with Narya. And we have Watchful Peace of course, Galadron's Handmaiden to lower our threat and to avoid some of the more nasty threat events. Beyond's Hospitality to heal, Unexpected Courage of course. The goal will be to Draw into either Ranger's Blade, Raven Winged Helm, maybe even or some allies that can help us out in the first few turns. So, so this this will be our deck for today, and we want to defeat King of Karak at at least adventure to difficulty or or higher. So we'll start with the adventure and see how we fare. I tried to play this now for uh, three times, I think. I had to restart I once because I had a really Aaron's shitty daughter. draw at the start. My old Toby's favorite pipe. Don't be precise and don't worry. And I think the the starting draw is actually the most important here. So stuff like Easter Rider, you don't really need it. It's it's cool to have it, and it's in the deck to maybe get uh, get rid of some. Uh, it's a cheap ally, for, for that reason alone, maybe. And to clear out some hazards. So Bjorn's Hospitality is also a card. We, ne we need it later, but not now. Same with a Watchful Peace, though I'm inclined to have it, or to keep it, because I can click on it, but uh, the first threat event at level 30, or at threat 30, is to uh, discard three cards from hand at random, or discard the top six cards of your deck, and I almost always choose to discard the, from, the cards from hand. And this can be quite painful. Self-preservation doesn't do anything if we don't have Urkenbrand, or maybe Gandalf with Narya, which both of which we don't have here. But Gondorian Shield is very nice. Actually, mm, I'd rather have a weapon, so... This can be good if we get the Northern Survivor with the Fate Event, and then slap Gondorian Shield on it, because the... The enemies love to attack the Northern Survivor, so... But for now, I, I think we kick it back and only take the Watchful Peace here. Not that much better. At least we get the Ranger's Blade. And... Nothing else, really. After the automatic damage from the Broken Up Ice, I heal Arwen back to full. The Cracking Ice, of course. Now the question is, I don't have any allies to play, so this is actually a very tricky start. I will start with playing the Ranger's Blade on Dwalin. And this will be... ...something to look out for. Negate the second attack of the Warg here. And then... ...clear the Vicious Warg. Yes, and then we just fade up. And see what's going on with the... Oh, that's actually very bad. The reason this is extremely bad is because he has Stalwart. And if I get my Northern Survivor here... 
won't have the chance to do anything because or I only get out one action because after the second action the, the war grid will attack will attack both times the, the northern survivor so this is a very very bad start let's see I could try to delay once and take one hit with watchful peace and I'm really inclined to do that to see where things lead yeah let's do that a new oh and okay I, I thought maybe maybe Sauron wants to spread around his uh, attacks but evidently he doesn't so we will just try to restart the quest because with that draw it's just very hard Your without any tactics allies or a tactics, tactics attachments it's hard to get time for get enough meal. enemies oh, removed Avenger. quickly so and with a hero down at the at the start of the first round I don't think that's really something <laughs> we want to have so let's do it I really shouldn't take the Gondorian shield here Ranger's Blade we keep. Oh, this is much better. I keep drawing Gandalf. I, I don't know why, but... I actually don't need Gandalf until I draw Narya, maybe. Okay, but this is much better. Um, the Ring-Winged Helmet is better on Dwanin because he can be attacked too and he's taking less damage then. But again, I don't, I don't have any allies I can play. Still. Play the ring winged helmet on Dwalin. Same as before. Negate the second attack. It's fine. Get rid of the vicious warg. Then oh that that's very good. And now I don't have any way to delay, so let's hope he doesn't play a, a minion with stalwart. He, that's okay. So we get the northern survivor here. Many dangers lay in the north. Uh, put the free progress directly on the objective. See, uh, Sauron chose to... Oh, that's cool. Sauron chose to, to pass, so we have free reign. We will... Oh, why? I thought he passed. Oh, it was because uh, the fate event isn't in action. Okay. That's also very bad. Mm. I can't get rid of it. Okay. Because the Northern Survivor will be basically... Dead in the water. Hmm, that's really bad. Hmm. Okay, but we might be able to pull through here by uh, restoring. We will restore here. I will try to. The thing is, if I play the Gondorian shield, the Northern Survivor will get blocked by default, while the Raven Winged Helmet or helm will only give block once being attacked so these enemies they or enemies in general they only react to actual block not blocks on attacks so and this is also very bad I could try to to save up the northern survivor by playing raven winged helm and then self-preservation at the end of the round and keep, keep healing him up or Gondor and shield is maybe even better like I said the, the difference would be that he will also get real block and not just block on attack. Um, let's do it like... And I can't remove this guy. Mm. I will try to... Let's try it. Okay, see, he attacked Arwen instead. So now we... Yeah, I expected this. <laughs> so we should clear out the smaller guy here. Wow, oh, that's also very bad. He will get... He will, he will get Arwen now, unless I play a Ravenwinged Helm. Which I really I have to. There's no way around this. And then just hope that she doesn't. Yeah. And that, then just hope that she that she doesn't um, suffer from the cracking ice. Because I need to get rid of the, this here. 
Otherwise, I'm really, really out of luck here. question now is how if I should discard cards from hand and I think I sh uh, let's do it from deck yeah was actually not that good okay I also could play the it's really difficult here I just have to... Uh, probably... Negate one attack with... Tom here. And they will want to go uh, for... Erwin here. Ah, uh, for Arwen here, sorry. So I should... Hmm. Free resources. I should block here and then I should block here once that's actually okay I'd say and then we play the East Road Rider because it's cheap my blade is at the ready and I can use it and I get rid of all of my events where which I don't have any <laughs> not that it's a good thing but <coughs> at least we don't lose anything Okay, I need to start thinking about clearing these guys. It's very tricky. And I also need to play self-preservation on Arwen, so she's out of danger more often. That's okay, since my hurt guys aren't exhausted. Uh, I could play an unexpected courage on, on this guy. So he would... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to get this into play. Okay, let's try it like this. I will fade up once. And I... Did I... I defended again. Oh. I misremembered. Okay. So what I actually want to do is... Do heal up a bit. And now... I will try to use the Northern Survivor to attack too, but... I don't have any resources, any good resources here. Um, I will... Yeah, it seems like a waste to also use Arwen to clear one of these, but it's better than spreading the, the willpower. So having one of these at the end of the round is still bad, but it's not, a, not that bad. Okay. Let's see. And I think I need to hard cast Gandalf this round. But first, we need to restore one for Arwen, I think. Yes. And I... Th oh, Tom is also here. Oh, that's very good. So I can... I should do this first. Although... I need my unexpected courage on anyone. It's very, diffi very difficult right now. I also can play Gandalf and Narya, which is a very good combination here. And he will go for Arwen now. No, he will go for the Zoeva. Okay, that's fine. That's actually not fine, <laughs> because I need to heal him up. No! <laughs> okay, I could defeat him with Tom, and he has fleeting, and he's not that good. The problem is I can't save this guy now. That's very unfortunate. Mm. 
should have defended with the Eastroad Rider, I think. think. But I couldn't, because I need to clear off the warg. Uh, mm, and if I... Play another Condorian shield on him... It's not the worst idea, because I think he will drop drop, drop, drop down. He doesn't drop any, any hit points if he's already wounded, and he will gain two hit points from the shield, and then he would count as being not wounded, I think. No, it... Yeah, see, it works. So, I don't get any damage. And for added benefit, I can now... No, I know... Yeah, I can... Block here. And this guy will not... Oh, God. This nonsense again. Uh, this guy will not... Um, will not attack because he will not attack any... Any characters that he can't deal damage to. And with one attack against the, against a character with block, it doesn't deal any damage. <coughs> and I need to play Bombadil now. Because this is too much to handle right now. I think yes. Tom remembers the first. It seems very wasteful, but the first acorn. Don't know if I can survive otherwise. Okay, and at the end of the round, I will lose every wounded ally. That's no one right now, so that's fine. I can. The problem is I can't even. So this is a bit, a bit tricky here. Uh, theoretically, the Easter Rider would get two willpower when engaging a hazard, but since it has zero willpower, it can't engage a hazard. So I don't even get the two out of it. So I can only attack with her, yeah! which is a bummer. Same with the Northern Survivor here. So let's do it like. Wait, do I? No. Can't get the threat reduced, so I will not bother with it. I will instead try to make progress on the quest. Put on another damage. And see where things lead here. Problem is this fate event is also ux. But I can probably get around this. And I probably want to heal up my Northern Survivor, because it's very valuable to have it around. And then save up for Gandalf and Narya next round. So we will start by... It's really tricky here. I should block here because it saves me a bunch of actions. Can I? Hmm. I think now is the time to play this. Because I get a free action out of it. He will not attack the survivor. He will instead gain stuff he can't use. He can use it, but it doesn't make too much of a difference for me now. Uh, but since I've already spent my resource I needed for Narya anyway, I cannot I will I cannot play Ganolf and Narya next round, so I, instead I will play probably the Rangers played either on Dwalin. May Dwalin is the best here, I think, because he already has free attack. And he has unexpected courage on it. So, let's do it here. And this is... okay. This doesn't do anything for us, because... No wolf, wolves will be in play. So we have a pretty easy time now. We get rid of this. Um, Fall down. 
Well. We are stuck a long time on the first phase now. This doesn't do anything. Restore one for Arwen in this case. Another sword which we will probably play on the survivor. Because as you will see in, in phase two, he will be one of our MVPs in this game. Or I can I can wait. But waiting is boring. So instead, I will play it now to see if any enemy comes from the deck that I want to defeat. This, of course, I will get rid of with Twalin. And its effect is also very interesting because it says reducing a random ally's willpower to zero while slavering wolf is in play its first round. So if I defeat it now. I get the full willpower back, which is nice, actually. So my Eastward Rider can engage again. And it will, also. Maybe like this. I hope Sauron passed already and I'm not mistaken this time. I have one resource I could use on a... Uh, Self-preservation preservation on Tom, maybe, or on Dwalin. Or on the Northern Survivor, like I said. He's also very good. Since he gets two actions and he can block and... Or he can guard and engage objectives with his actions. Oh, I want to do this anyway. And then I have only... How much do I have left? I can get rid of it, rid of it this round, so it's actually better to do it this way. He is two, he's also two, that's... I don't really need to play self-preservation now, so I could play... I also don't need play, to play Galadriel's Handmaiden, because I will want to wait with this until phase two or phase three. So I can avoid a, fate, uh, a threat ev event later on. And I will actually stick around a little bit longer in this phase to fade up and have a better start into phase 2. And by now I think there is little chance for me to actually lose this quest. Let's do it like this. Yes. I have two Gandalfs now, which is good. Um, for I can use one of my resources to play an Ithil. No, actually we get one slot. It's five. Yeah, I can. Unless I can somehow get rid of um, the Eastroad Rider, he will stick around. So let's see if I can get rid of him by blocking. So it's actually what I want here. He cannot defeat it, so we will do it like this. This is not that bad. I can... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... No, actually I want to play Gandalf for this, so next round I will play Gandalf. Reduce, draw... I don't want to draw any cards anyway, so I will... Keep this objective alive this round. And fade up for the rest. And not lose the threat. I will for sure get this... Next round. And next round, because there is always the chance for uh, Sauron to play the uh, the event where I lose all of the events from my hand, which is very bad in this case. Urkenbrand, that's nice. So we start out with another fade up here. 
a good idea. Should fade up with the survivor here. To see what's coming off the board. That's not that intimidating, actually. Can get rid of this quite easily. Uh, I will take the threat here. It's only one. And I want to keep him around. I should play Urkenbrand instead of Gandalf here. Okay, fade up to 12. Take the Asbjorn's Gift, which is an event that ex lets me exhaust all wolf enemies. You don't really need it, but it's a good insurance policy for later on. Keep this for, for, next, um, for the next uh, phase. Fade up some more. Play Urkenbrand. Rohan! And play maybe self-preservation on him. Question is if I should do that. Certainly would... I don't actually need it, because I, I think I can heal up anyway. So do I need anything else? I don't think so. So we will actually travel now. Finally, from the first, from the first phase. And if you know the quest, you know what's going to happen now. I will buff up my characters like crazy and speed through the second uh, phase as fast Six. as possible. I mean, you can't really speed through it because it's timed. But what you can do is lower your threat, which I will do, of course, or try to do. I will heal up, in this case, I will heal up Dwalin. Get a Easter Rider, which I don't care for. Get in Radagast. And now my Urkenbrand has an attack of 3. My Northern Survivor has an attack of 3. My Northern Survivor has a willpower of also 3. Health of 7, as well as block, so... He's basically he's basically a um, an, a second Birken brand on the table, which is very nice. Okay, with that I need five willpower to actually lower my threat, which I can conjure up with this. Or I actually let's first get. Does he have? No, he doesn't have unexpected courage on him. I will do it like this. And see what's going on, going on here. We will... We will... Block again here. And then I can just... Can block with the Northern Survivor here. All of the... All of those won't attack now. So I'm free to... Fit up with... Radagast and lose five fret, so I have enough time to get through this stage without hitting um, this fate event. No, actually this one, where I lose my stats again, which I don't want to happen. Also, this is pretty bad because it uh, free damage to every character and reduce by uh, dropping cards from your hand, but uh, randomly drop dropping cards from your hand, which I don't want to. So, instead, I will now try to get rid of these guys here. Uh, what's this? This is the Firebrands. I don't want to do this right now. I want to play self-preservation, but on whom? Maybe on Tom. Oh, let's play it on Urf Urkenbrand. To see how far we can go with him. He's out of action, so I can start getting rid of these guys. 
And I do want to fade up too. Not only to get the, the firebrands later on, but also to be prepared for the next um, phase. So, fade up here too. They will deal two damage at the end of the round. Each one will deal one, deal one of course, but I'm not too afraid of that. I have Armin to heal me, and I have enough self-preservations on the board now. I have Beyond's Hospitality, so I'm actually very good now. And let's heal up. That's very good. I need to trigger this this uh, uh, for this location now. They don't want to attack, so he will play cards. Which I'm not particularly fond of here. It, it, this dealt actually only damage to the campfire, which... <laughs> I don't particularly care about. I need to get rid of some cards here. That's two, four, six, eight, nine. I'm 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 full here, and if I draw two, three cards from the for the firebrands, I need to drop three cards, which I'd say will be the Athelian Lookout. Don't want to draw. And the East Road Rider, and I need to draw an I need to drop another card. Which we will think about when we are getting there. So I drop this. I drop this. And now I drop which one I drop Gandalf because Actually Twice Gandalf is also good. I could drop Narya because I'm probably not playing Narya anyway. And all the other cards are just too good. Okay, and I'm uh, fitting up again. To full. You can always block with Radagast in this phase because he's not uh, going to survive this phase any anyway. So damage on him is actually damage you don't need to heal up, or damage that doesn't really concern you. Um, I will heal up Erkenbrand in this case. And with the Northern Survivor you always have the option to stall, because you can, even if you are full on, on fate, you can still Defend, and if you, okay, that's actually nothing I care about. And if you want to bait out another action by Sauron, you can just un, unguard with him, and nothing happens to really. you. So you have full control over over the round, even though you are full on fate. And normally this isn't too too good of a thing to be full on fate. Okay, so you're pretty good here. Guard up. And doesn't really matter. He will not attack because he doesn't have enough attack power. I will do it like this. Yeah, I don't really care. That's it for this round, and we will probably travel very early in this round, and I don't see any reason to stick around here. I can heal up... Probably the survivor. And travel now? Because I, I'm i full on fate, so I, there's no reason for me to stick around another, another round, or a half a round. Radagast leaves, and we enter the next round. So, I could actually 
ditch the whistle because the, um, the eagle I get with, from the whistle, whistle isn't that good actually. But it's a permanent ally and I probably want this. I don't want to ditch Watchful Peace either. So we'll get rid of one Firebrand. It seems the best now. Also very good for this is that... Uh, heal up Dwalin. With the Northern Survivor at 3 willpower, you can chew through Black Forest pretty quickly. I want to... Yeah, I probably want to play the Handmaiden now. Oh, no, wait, let's see. Maybe I can... Do this first. Yeah, I think I'll do this first. Walk again. See what's going on, that's fine. And now we'll actually actually start up on don't need these fade events, I can do them later on. That's fine. So I will start off like this. Negate the attack. Don't really care. For attack, I will Okay, the idea is to use the whistle after you I'm very curious on where he placed this <laughs> This was a very bad placement by Sauron here. Uh, you should do you should uh, use the whistle after you exhausted all of your allies because I can't show you because the event is cancelled now. <laughs> I <laughs> should have should have thought of that. I missed that. Because the the, ally, the eagle entering play exhausts all of your allies. So I don't know why. It doesn't really make thematic sense. Maybe it's still a bug or something. But with this I will actually use one firebrand, I'd say. Because I don't want to have the moonling of the veil add value to Black Frost again. And I can heal up anyway, so... Like this. Heal up. Get rid of this guy. This guy. Play... I will now try to play Gandalf. Question is... Don't want to draw cards and... Yeah, I... Yeah, let's do it. Play Gandalf here. For threat reduce. I don't need any cards, I have enough in my hand. So, he will actually engage this. Then I play the Handmaiden. Also, not ideal, because... I could use the threat reduce in the next stage the also, but... Then I can get this to get more mm. yeah why not can use this here it doesn't really do anything really but Arwen already has an uh, a defensive attachment and he, he doesn't have block, so enemies will attack him eventually, I, I feel, so... Let's see! And this is the reason why I didn't want to get rid, rid of um, Beyond's Hospitality, because it can be very beneficial to play it here now. Uh, we will heal him. So he is at full again. Oh, I have my second Narya. This, this is also very good. 
because I can play Gandalf with Narya now. I should actually do this, right? Is there any downside to this? No. Go back to the abyss. Should lower my fret, really. Yeah, lower the fret. Um, this isn't too bad. Don't forget, you also have to fade up for the next phase. Yeah, like I like I care here. So I will use Narya on Gandalf, giving him removing removing fleeting, so he's going to stick you around. And five is actually this. Come back to What's the this? Light. Yes. The rest I can use to fade up. And I will probably. Yeah. I could travel this round. Don't think I will though, because I should really. I'm at full. Hmm. I could play Bjorn's hospitality before I uh, before I, I travel. That would help a bit. Firebrand. Yes. Let's let's do it. Heal one from each character. That's one, two, three, four. And now we can travel into the last phase with 33 fret. Looks very good Silence for a good score. Upon the and of course, the first thing we do is heal up Erkenbrand. Oh, another healing card. And another watchful piece. That's very nice. Defeat Mordra with the 11 fate event. Then play... Probably play it now. So I can... Ideally make Sauron pass. By... Fading up with free. I need free willpower. I will get it from using. Actually, I will use Firebrand here <laughs> to stall an activation. I want Sauron to pass, and this is a reason. So, this I can get rid of by. Uh, I want to. Oh, uh, that's painful. No. Let's do it like this. And he should pass now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then I fade up. I need three for this. Mm hmm. I need you. No, I don't need you. Yeah, I need you. And I need you. To do five again on Mordraw. Actually four because he has block. Then I will attack with Go back to the shadow. It's slightly suboptimal, I think, but doesn't really matter. And since Soren already passed, Mordra comes back um, ready, but he's not gonna attack because he's already exhausted. Uh, he already. Uh, Sauron already passed, so I have all the time in the world to actually deal with him now. Which I also need because I can't kill him now, I think. Let's see. That's two, and that's. I have. W oh! I actually can kill him! Like this? I forgot that the Northern Survivor had his activation uh, ready, his second Mordra. one. And this means I have a pretty good score from for 550 without any tactics heroes, without Aragorn. Pretty good. So now I have to think of a 
of a challenge for you guys. I will also post this on the Discord, but uh, why don't you try playing uh, down the Enduin without any spirit, spirit heroes? Yeah, let's, let's do it just without any spirit heroes and see how far you can get with this. I think it will be pretty tricky because you need to get a lot of willpower on the table at two times actually. So we will see who's first gonna complete this. So until then, have fun guys and see you next time.